Hi Olive and Lucy, my name is Jamie and I'm talking to you today. It's, it's August 16th, 2009 and your father and I are in Central Park and um, I asked to participate in this project but I've, as I've thought about this over the last few days, I've realized what an enormous responsibility this is to want to try to impart whatever wisdom I might have gleaned to two young women, well, young girls who I've never met. And um, part of my problem is that I don't normally, I try not to give advice because I realized a few years ago that one way I keep people at a distance is to start giving them advice when they haven't asked me for advice. So I wish that you were sitting here or standing here with me so that you could say to me, well, Jamie, I want to know about this or I'd like to know about that. So I'm just going to pretend that you are here and that we're talking about how if I had it to do over what I would like to live a childhood and a young womanhood that I would have liked to have had. My hope for myself and for you is that you have a safe place where you can experiment with things that you're really good at, find out what your passions are, celebrate your success, your victories, and have the, the pain and anguish and celebration of the mistakes that you make. And um, I wish you very creative lives. I, I wanted a life full of music and dance and joy and laughter. And um, at the age of 62 and a half, that's what I'm trying to make for myself now. And I, my hope for you is that you can have that a lot sooner than I did. And I'm looking at my notes now. I've already talked about your mistakes, celebrating mistakes and success because a mistake is a sign that someone tried to do something. Yay! And, um, well, I have to mention the work of Marshall Rosenberg here, who's a person who teaches about compassionate communication and empathy skills. So I wish you really strong empathy muscles. And um, finally, I, I don't know how much time I've used, but, I, I want to be sure that there's dancing in your life and I highly recommend salsa dancing because the music is so joyful and as far as I'm concerned you can never get too much joy. Thank you.